De-extinction is the process in which scientists attempt to recreate extinct species, or at least create a genetic copy of them. There are several ways to perform de-extinction. The most popular method is cloning, which we discussed in our previous video. In this video, we'll explore the second method of de-extinction, which is genome editing. Genome editing has seen rapid advancements in recent years, especially because of a tool called CRISPR-Cas9. CRISPR-Cas9 was originally discovered in bacteria as part of their immune system. Let me explain how it works in simple terms. When a virus attacks a bacterium, the bacterium stores fragments of the viral DNA in a special section of its own chromosome. These fragments are called spacers, and this entire section is called CRISPR. These stored DNA pieces help the bacteria remember the virus in future attacks. If the same virus tries to invade again, the bacterium creates a guide RNA from that stored DNA, a process called transcription. This guide RNA attaches to a protein called Cas9, forming a Cas9 RNA complex. Now, this Cas9 RNA combo acts like a detective. It searches for the matching viral DNA, and once it finds a match, Cas9 cuts the foreign DNA, disabling the virus. This discovery was a game changer. Scientists now use this system to edit genes in other organisms. In the context of de-extinction, if we use the cells of a closely related living species, we can edit its DNA to resemble the extinct species. These edits can be made directly in germ cells so that the offspring born carry traits of the extinct animal. Alternatively, a somatic cell, like a skin cell, can be edited and its nucleus transferred into an egg. This method is called somatic cell nuclear transfer. If we want to bring back the woolly mammoth, we can use CRISPR to edit the genome of an Asian elephant, its closest living relative, to resemble that of a mammoth. It won't be a perfect replica, but it could be very close. We'll discuss the third method of de-extinction in the next video, so stay tuned.